So, welcome to another edition of the Steam Backlog series. Today, we are doing Flight Control HD. Yes, yes, this is a mobile game. Yes, I know. For whatever reason, I, I cannot... I, I have this for my phone too. This is the worst. This is the worst part. Um, but for some reason, I bought this game on Steam. I know that this is a game that I bought because I was excited when I got it for like 75 cents on a Steam sale. I think it was like 75 cents. So yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm both kind of ashamed and not ashamed to admit that I did that. Um, it, it, I've gotten a significant amount of enjoyment. I, I, I'm not going to pull my Steam list up right now, but I'm pretty sure that I have put in far too many hours, and probably more hours than I would guess into this. So, uh, if you don't know what Flight Control HD is, I don't blame you, but it is a game where you are basically just managing planes and you are trying to get the planes onto the air, onto the, uh, the, the 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 airways, okay, onto the tracks. There are different maps, okay, of different uh, you know challenge levels and so forth. Some have multiple places that they can go. We are going to start with map one. As you can see, I have yet to crack a hundred. Okay, I'm going to bump up the speed here uh, because I like living dangerously. And I, you, you are not, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is as simple as the game gets. You are dragging and dropping and creating pathways for the planes to land. So, of course, as with any game that is, in theory, this simple, the challenge comes in as the game goes on, as you manage more and more planes of various speeds coming in from various angles. As you can see here, the helicopters are the slowest. They also give you the most leeway in terms of crashing. And the level is done once you have crashed. But yes, this that that's all there is to it. thought I drew the line okay see so that is you can make a silly stupid mistake like I did just like that where you thought you drew a line in the right way and of course you didn't the red planes I'm assuming are your jumbo jets yeah you got your little crop dusters uh, prop planes and then your helicopters. And that's it. That's literally the only variation the game has. It's threes, the threes, threes. These three plane types. Again, the difficulty is in managing. As you can see here, right? I got three of them coming in at about the same. See, I like to go fast because I find when it's at the normal speed, I don't know why I find the faster one just easier. I've tried the slower speeds and I always end up fucking up more, oddly enough. Go figure. But So while we're waiting for these planes to come in, if you have not, I usually do this preamble and I find that we end up wasting a whack of time talking about what the Steam Backlog series is and then less time actually playing the game. So. The Steam Backlog series is my attempt to play through my Steam Backlog and Catalog and bring you along for the ride. So I've been on Steam since uh, day one with Half-Life 2. Over the years I have collected many games, both uh, via purchases, bundles, giveaways, you name it. And so I... Uh, like, like most people, you only got so many hours in the day and you try to play through 
you know, the games that matter and are kind of more interesting, and some games are more interesting than others, and there's lots and lots of games that you think to yourself, I'll get to it someday, and let's be honest, we never do. And so this is my attempt at going through and actually playing every single one of these games, and, um, and, uh, you know, actually being able to say, hey, I knocked it out. Now, if you have been following the series at all, you will have noticed by now that there are some games that are definitely of this what-the-fuck kind of variety, where it seems strange that any logical person would have made any attempt to play a game, uh, to play that game, and that whoever programmed it must have been on some kind of drug, and then there are other games where you're just like, yeah, that's a cool game. So, like I said, this this is one of those games where it's kind of addicting, and it's uh, it's ridiculous. And yes, it started as a mobile game, and I'm not I'm not doing the PC Master Race any favors by uh, <laughs> buying and playing mobile games on my PC. But it, like I said, it was it was super cheap. And uh, I enjoyed the mobile game, and so here we are. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Oh! This. <laughs> this is the drawbacks of also getting work messages while you're doing this. All right, that's it. We're gonna lock it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it quick, man. We're gonna we're gonna crack the century mark today. I have a good feeling about it. It's gonna go smooth like butter. Thanks for the host dose. Bet you never thought you'd have a game like this streaming on the channel. And I'm really happy to say that I am going to be starting the uh, Gaming With My Dad series soon, very soon, as we're working out just the actual timing logistics of getting together and doing it. And we're going to start very simple. We're going to start with the kinds of games that my dad would try to play with me in my youth which were mostly sports games. And then eventually, we're gonna get him on the real fancy stuff. To the point where I hope that we will actually, once the Apex Legends crossplay stuff kicks in, that I will actually try to play around with him. Which, to be honest, scares the shit out of me. As I honestly can't picture my dad being able to play a game like that, but we're going to try it. That is what I am aspiring to. Oh, we've had a couple of near misses here already. A couple of near misses. Oh shit, no! I grabbed him! Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this level one more time and then we're gonna try. I'm gonna show you one of the because this is really simple. This is the simplest runway in the game. This is this is you know default. Okay, this is default settings, right? This is the kind of level that they do the tutorial on. So I'm gonna show you some crazy management ones. And like you're trying to see, like you're trying to get the speed timing just right, cut those corners, and and the, the so there's no end, there's no end to this. Okay, you do not reach like a score of 150 and you move on, or you get like you know congratulations or anything like that. You basically keep going 
until either you are completely sick of what you're playing or your hand falls off from clicking so many times. And I've seen I've seen some of the scores that people have gotten and I wonder how they're able to keep playing. And then I remember that there are people who will click a million times.